Greetings everyone, I'm Ambe Singh and today I'm with my co-speaker Mayus for the episode 17 of the Power Pages Quick Tip series. In this episode, we will explore site visibility in Power Pages. The Power Pages site visibility setting allow us to control who has an access to your website. You can make the site private to restrict access to the specific people in the organization. If you choose to make the site public, anyone with the link can access it. Please note, all the sites that you have created in the Power Pages are private by default. Site visibility is only available for the website that were created with the version 9.4.9.x or later. Be cautious when you edit a public site. Changes are visible to external users immediately. Website in developer environments can't be made public. When the site makers and organizations, users to whom the makers granted access can view the private sites, site visitors need to authenticate with the organization's Microsoft intro ID identity providers before they can view the site content. Anyone on the internet can view the public site anonymously or if they are authenticated with an identity provider. Public websites are production sites, fully operational for the customers to use. A notification reminds you when you edit the public site in the Designer Studio, Portal Management App, Visual Studio Code Editor, or even via the Microsoft Power Platform CLI. Your security role and tenant security settings determine whether you can change a site visibility. Service admins who are the member of any of the following Microsoft Intra roles can change the site visibility. They could be global admins, Power Platform administrators, or Dynamic 365 administrators. When the tenant level settings enable site admins to change site visibility is set to true, the members of the system administrator security roles can also change the site visibility. If the tenant level setting enables system admin to change site visibility is set to false, members of the system admin security roles must be a member of exclusive security groups in the Microsoft Entra that has the permission to manage the site visibility. When you don't want all system administrators to be able to change the site visibility, set enable system admin to change site visibility to false, then delegate the site visibility management to the selected set of users. After you add the security group, all system administrators who are in the group can manage the site visibility. System administrators who are not members of the group see the site visibility sections disabled. When your site is private, you can use the site visibility page to grant access to other organization users. You can grant access up to 50 organization users. You don't need to grant access to the users who have the system administrator role in your site environment. They have permission to view the site by default. Please note, users who are granted access to private site are not automatically authenticated on your website. Now I would ask Myers to show us the live demonstration. Over to you, Myers. First, I have here two sites set up. One is private, one is public, and we will first take a look at the Power Platform Admin Center. And here's even a column for site visibility. So site one is a private one, site two is public. And you all uh, already mentioned right here that this manage site visibility permissions, you can add a security group um, to restrict the access. This is interesting for um, environments that have many system administrators. So I don't think this is that important for production because system administrators, hey, they should be really limited how many people have this access. Uh, but on a development environment, like a dozen developers might have this permission and no one should be accidentally setting the site to public, the development site, so you could limit this down to a specific security group like Power Pages administrators or, or something like this that only includes, let's say, the global administrators of your, of your tenant. Um, then let's take a look at site one first. So in the security section, you find the site visibility, and this one is set to private right now. It's a simple radio button, and you have here the grand site access where you can add people. Um, just remember, this is not a setting that shall replace the, the uh, identity providers. So this is not made for, okay, this is a private site, 
uh, I want it for internal employees and I want to in invite them here via grant site access. Um, this you would do by um, enabling a identity provider like Azure Active Directory and then say, OK, I don't have an open registration. Then you would use the invitation feature of Power Pages to invite those users and get them in there because there is a limit of, I think, around 50 users that you can grant access to a private site. So this yep. is um, used to, for example, share it with developers on the dev environment, share it with testers on the test environment, and then the production, for example, is just public with the correctly set up identity providers. So then let's take a look at site two as well. And here we are greeted with the message you just mentioned about uh, I'm adding a live public site. So just yeah, saying, OK, a public site is usually the, the production stage um, that we manage here. Other than that, added this site in security, of course, we see the site visibility is public and then we cannot invite anyone. This is what we would do with the identity providers and the authentication settings. So, and now I hope I can do this without switching to my private browser because I have not logged into site two yet. So if I open this in a new, uh, in a new tab, the site just opens because it's public. The private site, this redirects me to the login page. And um, I, I am able to log in because I'm a system administrator right now. Uh, so this won't be a problem, but it would have been really fast if I were already uh, given the permissions here. So I can say accept and then I'm going through the uh, login and then hopefully in a second, the site will load as well. Uh, this does not happen if you use the preview button in the edit uh, site, so in the in the designer. So now you can see at top here, I'm signed in as Marius Wodke. And if we do the same thing here with preview, So then you see I don't get a Microsoft uh, online login screen. And uh, so I just go to the site directly. Takes a bit to load up. So and here we see I um, don't have this unlocked in um, bar at the top uh, because it's the preview page and there you don't need to be signed in. You are already signed into the power uh, Make Power Pages Microsoft com. And I guess that's everything I have to show in the demo. Okay. Thank you so much, Marius, for the lovely demo. And then let me give a closer to that one. So before going to the closer, just to add one more point here for the audience that uh, Microsoft Entra authentication is turned on by default when the website is provisioned. Private Power Pages website does not work if you turn off the Microsoft Entra ID authentication change the site visibility to public before you turn on Microsoft Entra authentication. So on that note, stay tuned to this channel by subscribing and pressing the bell icon. Share the videos with your friends and the colleagues. We will come up in the coming up episodes with the more interesting tips, knowledge sharings, and the lesson learning around the power pages. Till that, have a nice time and happy learning. Thank you so much.